Hey there guys, I'm back. So it's loud. This is gonna be a walk around video of my truck. Uh, I love this thing so much. <clears throat> so I got it cleaned up pretty good yesterday. Uh now just a quick warning, the seats are gonna blind you. Um and I'm not gonna have a start in this video because uh it's actually dark outside. But um I do have a video of another start, and I have a video of driving it a little bit. By driving it, I mean backing it in here. And I'll put those in here. Um, so, yeah guys, uh, I love this truck so much. I was really scared that this truck was going to be a terrible deal. and It was uh, it's going to be a big mistake, but right now, I mean... The thing is almost in, I'm not going to say perfect, it's in great mechanical condition. It basically just needs some maintenance done to it, which is awesome to me, because it's one of those things I was really scared of, you know, if I get it and the motor's bad, or you have to get the head redone, or I don't have a transmission gear, which I did test drive it before I bought it, so I know it wasn't that bad. But you know, there's still a lot of stuff that can slip through a test drive. Man, I need to vacuum this thing again already. Um, so it is in really good mechanical condition. It's got a lot of cosmetic stuff wrong with it. The biggest cosmetic thing wrong with it is the paint. Um, see, the clear coat's pretty faded off. Um, it's got these dinky little flames on it. I'm going to repaint it. I'm not going to put the flames back on. Uh, back here on the bed, the paint's in still decent condition. That's still decent gloss red. Uh, stock Chevy color, I'm pretty sure. It might be aftermarket, but I don't think so. Um, so when I'm cleaning up from here, I was trying to scrape. That's on, it's over here. I was like, where is it? I'm trying to scrape this adhesive off of the door panels. Or the doors, not the door panels. Because uh, the last owner had some vent shades on it. I'm going to put vent shades back on it. I think they look pretty good. But <clears throat> there were only pieces of it left. And there were just chunks of plastic along the door. So I'm scraping the chunks of plastic off. I'm trying to get the adhesive off. And uh, get it ready for new ones, basically. Is that? Huh. Yeah, the thing's got some cosmetic problems, and I'm just walking around and finding more of them. Uh, what else? What else? So after I get this cleaned up, I'll give you guys a basic rundown of it. Uh, It's got a 9 inch lift on 35s. As you can see, it's really freaking tall. There's my shoulder for some reference. Um, see, I'm sure you guys have got enough of my face, so let's flip the camera around and do a real walk around of it here in the good light. Alright, guys, this is all recorded on a phone, so sorry if it's a little shoddy camera work, but uh, this is the truck. It does have a big dent there in the extended cab part of it. But that's really the only major dent in the whole body. Um, I'm, and I'm going to get that fixed pretty quick. But the only other body work I'm really going to have done with it. I'm not even going to fix this. I'm just going to leave that how it is. Unless it breaks out my next set of taillights. But I think this set of taillights got broken from when that happened. And I don't like these taillights. I think they're ugly as they can be. I'm going to replace those. I'm going to get some decals for it. It's got the stock ones there, but I want to get some aftermarket ones. Uh, so yeah, there's no there's no really other dents. Major dents in the body. If you look down the sides here, see it's all pretty straight. Over the hood. And on this side, you can see that dent. It's a good way to see a pretty general idea of rough dents is just look down the sides. 
Uh, you'll see all the really major ones. There may be a couple of dings you can't see, but see, it reflects the light. The hotel gets faded. I don't think it has any big dings in it. This trim's loose. It's the inside of the bed. It had like a bunch of nasty stuff in it when I got it. It was like rotten potatoes and old drinks and stuff. That's got a little bit of oil left in it. That's the only reason why I saved it. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix these bumper shenanigans. I don't know what the previous owner was thinking when they did this. This is bad looking. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take that piece of tread plate out and move the bumper up and move the uh, hitch up. Because all this, to do all this, they put spacers. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they put spacers to get everything dropped down far enough. When they could have just raised it up. I don't know if they wanted it to be like this. I don't know why you would want it to be like this. It looks ugly. But, uh, yeah, and I gotta get hitched for it. Uh, but that's not very high on the priority list. I don't do a lot of towing, really. I need to fix this. These shenanigans, either fix it or rip it off. One of the two. Yeah, I'm gonna replace the tail. It's got 35 by 12 and a half wide tires. If I take the body lift out, these are probably gonna be pretty stuffed, but I might put 37s on if I can afford it. I'm kind of tapped out right now because I just bought this thing. Big old antennas for the CB inside. I love those handles on the side. I'm gonna have to. Probably replace this whole handle and then I'm gonna get some chrome covers for it. Stock mirrors, they're all faded out. I'm gonna have to do something about those. Uh, but I'm gonna put, uh, what I'm gonna do about them, I'm gonna put tow mirrors on them. Some of the 2015 style tow mirrors, I think they're like GM 400 or something. I'm not sure what kind of wheels these are, but they are high dollar wheel. What brand is that? Eagle, so probably American Eagle wheels. They're they're good wheels, but I am gonna get rid of them and uh, get some chrome ones because I'm just a, I'm a chrome guy. I'm probably gonna get smaller ones too because I was gonna run a 17 inch chrome rim uh, about 10 inches wide with about that much offset. That's a pretty good. That that's a good offset for me. And uh, the rims I was going to get were actually going to be an inch smaller than these. And that will partly make the tires look bigger. And also, it won't be quite as much chrome. Because there is such thing as too much chrome. But these rims do look good on the truck. I'm not... I don't, God, I'm tripping over stuff. I'm not saying the rims don't look good on the truck. The rims look great on the truck. But I'm just a chrome guy. I want, I want some chrome ones. And I want to get some black fender... Uh, flares that come down and have a mud flap. I don't really like the look of mud flaps that much, but right here, a little behind a dirt road, and it's gonna ruin the new paint job I put on it if I don't put mud flaps. It probably still will, even with mud flaps. Now, here's the stance. Look at it, guys. So, I mean, it's not an insane amount of stance, but I do think it looks pretty good. Especially with how much lift it has. If I do any wider, I might do a 13 inch tire wide, but I kind of doubt it. I think it looks pretty good. And the rims, like I said, are 12 and a half wide, so that'll only be an extra half inch wide. And it would be centered probably. Uh, KC lights don't work. I'm actually going to put some different ones on there. I'm gonna paint this black because it's rusty. So I'm gonna paint all that black. And then if we come over here, set of lights hanging up right there. Those are the lights I'm gonna put on it. Because they'll be black to match and they'll be square to match. I don't know, that's what I'm planning on doing. They look like crap on it. Of course, I'm gonna take them off and put these back on. But these, the finish are worn off of them. And 
like this cover off it's aluminum foil in there for the reflector they're not in good condition so the square ones don't look good I'll probably get some new ones that's why I have the covers on I don't actually like the way the covers look that much they look better than the crappy lights I gotta do something about this bow tie I hate painted bow ties I want a gold bow tie uh, the biggest thing I need to do with the brush guard is fix this problem. I don't know if you can see it from the shaky camera, but it wobbles like a lot. Um, the reason for it is it doesn't have a brace going up over the bumper right here. So that makes it wobble. It's just side to side. It's not up and down. It's not a huge deal. It's not going to go anywhere, but it bugs me driving it. And also, the grill wasn't put back on right. It's loose all the way across the bottom. I don't like that. So I might end up having to buy a new grill for it. I know for a fact I'm gonna buy new headlights for it. I think, I think this one anyways is a stock headlight. Um, and I'm gonna get some fancy ones for it. It's already got good corner lights, but I'm probably gonna get new ones for that too. It's got a real steel hood. Still cow hood, I think it's a two inch cow. Pretty cool, man. Uh, anything else on the exterior here? Oh, it's got a 10 bolt rear end, which I don't like. I'm probably gonna put a 14 bolt in it. It's got twin shocks, or dual shocks on back and triples on front. It is four wheel drive, of course. It's got a six inch Skyjacker suspension lift. And you can hardly see the third shock in there, but it's right there. A six inch skyjacker suspension lift and a three inch body lift. Uh, for a total of nine inches of lift. Which originally I was just wanting a six inch lift, but the nine inch just looks so good. I'm not removing any lift out of this thing. I think it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm holding my camera up eye level right now. So you can get an idea of how tall this thing is. And like I said, I'm like 6'4 with boots on and I'm, and I'm wearing boots, so it's really freaking tall and I love it. I love driving it. It's so fun to drive. So let's look at the interior now. Uh, if you're prone to have seizures, you may not want to watch this part of the video. Just a warning, the seats are hideous. And my dad freaking wd 40 my doors trying to mess with me. They, they did creak. Hello there. They did creak, and I love creaky doors in these old things. I don't know why, I just, I love the sound of it creaking open. And my dad freaking WD-40 them. So, he knew I like the creaky doors, and he just to screw with me, but, yeah. Thanks a lot, Dad. I hate my smooth, nice doors. So, yeah, here's the seats. That's what I'm talking about, man. You gotta freaking, you gotta be careful when you have a seizure with these things. They look freaking, they're busy for sure. And I don't know how this dirt got in here. I had them pretty clean. I need to re-vacuum the floor out already. I vacuumed it yesterday and got it pretty good looking. Can you see my pedals? I gotta get a flashlight so you guys can see this stuff. Cause like, I'm really proud of my gas pedal. <laughs> what time is it? 8.57. That's not too bad. The hang light, there it is. Here I can show you guys that third shot too. See it up in there. And I'll do a separate video of the motor running and under the hood and everything, but like I said, it's nighttime right now and this thing is straight pipe, so it's gonna wake everyone on the hill up if I start it up right now. So yeah, you can kinda see it here a little better. Is my gas pedal, dude. I love that. I'm gonna do some tucking on the wires. That's the wires going to the CB. And I hate that gear shift knob on the four wheel drive. Like, it's it's a good quality piece. It's solid metal and everything, but I hate it. I think it looks so bad. Let me crawl up in here. <clears throat> it's hard to do that with one hand. So, yeah, this is the interior view. I'd like to get some natural light on this. 
Uh, my evaporator cord on there is actually held in with a bungee cord, so I don't have very good AC, suffice to say. But I'm going to get a new dash panel for that down there and fix that right. I need to get a new dash panel for under the steering column because that's, you can see the screw heads. It's actually broken and just bolted in. And I'm going to get a GPS for right there. Mostly because my speedometer doesn't work. I know the odometer says it has 208,000 miles on it. But we found a sticker under the engine bay. It was a transmission company and it said 247,000 miles on it. So I don't, I don't know if that's when I need to service the transmission or if that's when the transmission was put in. So, yeah, that could be one thing or another. Back seat, pretty run of the mill. It's just got these ugly seats in it. And there's how the carpet looks when it's vacuumed out. Or better yet, I got these floor mats out of my old truck. Um, which I am still going to be driving my old truck for a while because this thing is not actually street legal right now. So I'm going to have to do some stuff to it to make it street legal. Um, I'm going to have to get a new headliner put in it. I'm probably going to do that myself to be honest because I'm going to save as much money as possible. There's a hole in my door panel right there. Uh, I would like to get some new door panels that have the automatic windows and locks. But I also know of a kit you can buy that you can put in your manual lock and window door panels to, and then wire a switch in somewhere over here to make it automatic. So, and I am going to make a new console for this thing. Um, I'm going to do something with the seats and make a new console. I think I'm just going to buy some seat covers and try to do some redneck upholstery on them and they're gonna be gray and black taxi match the interior because this these seats are so hideous I hate them <laughs> like they're so bad I mean they're pretty comfortable but they're just so ugly I gotta do something with them <laughs> um yeah and when I got this thing I'll post the pictures of when we just first got it off the trailer it was so dirty. I mean, it was a sty in here. Like, it looks dirty now. But it's really clean compared to how it was. And I like all the pedals. I like those custom custom pedals. I love my gas pedal. Like, that gas pedal's never gonna get old, man. It's got a little bit too stiff of a throttle spring in it. It's the only major problem with it. And when I don't have a, uh park brake it's gone it doesn't work oh, my sound system sucks too it's driven by two speakers right there and right up here it actually has provisions for subs in the back but it doesn't have block or uh, boxes or subs so I have to if I do subs I'm gonna have to do some uh construction here's the hood view and this is basically what you see when you drive it oh I see more like this um let's see here I'll go ahead and put the key in the journal of dash slides because I actually really like the dash lights it's kind of old style and I think it looks really good The camera doesn't pick up how bright they are. They're actually pretty bright. Oh, here, that's on now, too. Oops. Uh, I do have a problem. My turn signal comes on. And also, my radio is not wired in right, so I have to reset it every time I turn the key on. So that kind of sucks. I don't think I can pick anything up in the shop, anyways. Let's see if I can. Just a little bit. So you hear how bad the sound system is. It's, it's, it's kind of terrible, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a decent radio, though. Oh, I'm going to have to look at my headlights over there. Oh, good. They're actually not, like, way up there. Which then again, that door's only, like, five foot. Front, so. 
but um, yeah guys this is my new truck and I'm gonna be trying to do some videos on it I'm gonna be doing this all with my phone to start out with so it might be kind of terrible camera work like that with my pinky in it but I'll try to upgrade eventually I know right now I'm tapped out okay um, I'm about 17 <laughs> And I've been saving up for this truck for a while. Uh, never actually said how much it costed, so post in the comments right now how much you think this cost me. With a 9 inch lift and 35s and a 350 TBI motor and a 5 speed transmission, 4 wheel drive, uh, everything works. Uh, the 4 wheel drive is a little wonky because of the body lift. Uh, it actually doesn't click in 4 high quite right. But uh, the solenoid and everything is fine. I just need to cut a channel farther back for the four wheel high because the stick doesn't have enough room to come back and click in good. Um, I need to get it repainted. I'm probably going to repaint it myself. So that'll be a video in the future. I'm not going to rattle can it, but I'm going to paint it myself. Uh, so everything is wrong with the truck, which. I mean, I could tag it and drive it tomorrow. Uh, the only thing that makes it not straight legal is the exhaust. It just comes straight off the headers about three feet. And that's illegal where I live. You have to have the exhaust has to come back at least to the back of your cab. And it has to have a muffler. Um, some sort of muffler. You can't have just a straight pipe. And this is a catless straight pipe right now. Um, like I said, I'll throw a cold start in and let you guys hear it. It sounds freaking awesome, but it's illegal. So I'm going to have to do something with the exhaust. Um, and the speedometer doesn't work. So those are the two things that make it not street legal. I'm going to get a GPS, which is going to fix the speedometer. And I'm going to save up some money and get a nice exhaust system right on it. Um, the header gaskets are bad, so I'm going to have to get the header gaskets replaced. I'm going to have them come straight back. Straight pipes, cat back, catless. 12-inch uh, glass packs. And then I'm going to have about uh, a foot and a half long tips that come out. The corners of the bumpers four and a quarter inch chrome and i want a three inch pipe but i think the headers come back to a two and a half inch pipe so i don't know if they can make that a three inch pipe uh, if it's a two and a half inch pipe then i'm probably going to do like a three and a quarter inch tip um, and yeah like i said 12 inch glass packs nothing too fancy god that looks terrible i need to fix that soon. I'm going to have to take the brush guard off to fix the grill though. That's, that kind of sucks. Um, and what I need to do to make it safe to drive, like it'll be straight legal with just a couple little cheap things like that. Well, exhaust isn't really cheap, but uh, things I need to do to make it safe to drive. Uh, it doesn't have a park brake. And the, the wheel seal on this side is out. And I don't think you can see it from the outside. Yeah. But you can see it from the inside, it's leaking brake fluid, so it doesn't keep good brake pressure. So that's a problem, it makes it unsafe. And uh, I need an Eiler arm and a Pitman arm. Um, the front driveline U-joint is bad and the slip, slip, slip yoke is bad, so I'm gonna have to basically buy a new front driveline. Um, what do I do with that drop light? Uh, it needs new tires on the back. The back. This isn't the bad one. Uh, basically, it's like yeah, that's one of the first things we're gonna do whenever I start driving it every day. Get some new tires for it. I'm gonna get two new ones, same size, and put those on the front, and then move the front ones on back until I get enough money for new ones. And um, I'm basically gonna have to rotate the tires every about two months. So that's gonna kind of suck, and I forgot to put this jack up. Oh, 20 ton jack, that's right. Um, that's basically all that's mechanically wrong with it, other than just maintenance. Uh, I also need to top off the diff fluid and the back diff. I haven't checked the front yet. Um, I think I'm gonna have to change the transmission fluid because it is. You can see it under it there. Well, you can't really 
but you can kind of see it there it is black it's burnt it's been in there for a long time so I'm probably gonna change that uh, the oil change actually doesn't look that old the oil still is kind of a golden color and uh, yeah so I mean I'm gonna change the transmission fluid top off the rear diff fluid remake the diff gasket because uh, the back differential leaks I think the front difference is gonna be okay uh, but we'll have to see about the transfer case and uh, pretty soon after I start driving it like within a couple months I'm gonna do an oil change and tune-up on it uh, so if you don't know what that is oil change is kind of obvious you change you dump the old oil put some new oil in it change your oil filter and top off all your fluids and then um, for the uh, tune-up I'm gonna change the distributor cap not the whole distributor just the cap the plugs and the plug wires and I'm gonna get a new air filter for it. It's got a cold air intake, but I'm gonna to have to get a gasket for it, I think. And then, like I said, I need to get the exhaust re-ran, but I'm gonna do that before I start driving it. And then after that, it's pretty much gonna be cosmetic stuff. I mean, it's in pretty good mechanical condition, um, but the trim I'm gonna get, I think I already went over most of it. I'm gonna get vent visors. You can see that vent visors to go up here bed bars. I already have the bed bars and you can put them on. Uh, thick. Not, not real thick, but like probably about as thick as my stance. Uh, fender flares that come back to mud flaps. I'm going to do something with this stupid bumper. Um, <clears throat> something with the seats. Make a custom console and I'm going to put a control panel on my console. Um, new wheels bug guard paint this black do some of the kc lights i'm gonna put a visor on a moon visor and cab lights um chrome wheels chrome handle covers a chrome tailgate handle cover and chrome gasket cover um, and repaint the whole thing. I think I'm gonna do a really dark wine red. That's the color I'm gonna do. Uh, I was gonna do it black, but I wanna be able to have my black accents. And then I thought about doing a blue, because my old truck is red. But, I don't I, I just kinda hard for me to find a blue I like on these trucks. like. Uh, they already look great in red. I think this crap red paint also looks great. But uh, I'm going to do something with the paint. Uh, the seats on the inside take priority way over the paint, though. And I'm going to get some decals for it. I want to get one that says Southern Raised across there. Um, I'm going to get a couple Chevy ladies. I just noticed the big Chevrolet on the tailgate is gone. I'm gonna get that on there. I'm, I'm gonna get one of those for that. I, I want that to be on there. I don't know if they actually did it on this year. It's a 94. I think they did it on the 94s. Um, then on each side of the Chevrolet, I'm gonna have a little lady silhouette. Um, what else? Oh, and then on the bug guard on the passenger side, like imagine the bug guards here. It's going to say bow tie till I die, and the eye on the tie of the bow tie is going to be a bow tie. And then a uh, new bow tie for the front. That reminds me, and then that's about all I got planned for decals. I mean, decals can be added and removed fairly easily, so. There was a decal on it. You see the flakes over there in the bed. Stripped it off last night. It was something stupid. I don't remember what it said. It was retarded though. It was like a scuba doo quad or something. And then I'm going to undercoat it. Paint it all nice black. And then, uh, oh, there's a little bit of rust on it here. You can barely see it with this camera. But I'm going to take that to the body shop and Try to stop that before it rots up my whole cab corner like it does on these trucks. 
Uh, these these OBS chips are really bad about rusting out the cap corners. I'm going to try to stop it before it happens. I just stepped on a piece of the old vent shade. Um, and then toe mirrors. Almost forgot about toe mirrors. Yeah, a lot of plans. Oh, head and tail lights. I already said that too. Uh, the ones I found are like the uh, actual reflector dish is still silver, but then the backing is black, and then the the headlight itself is crystal clear. I was gonna get some just flat out tinted ones, but I think these are gonna look better. And yeah, paint that black. Or it's rusty there because that doesn't look good. And it's not gonna. That's not gonna come back into chrome. And eventually, because of the condition this bug guard's in, or brush guard is in, I'm gonna get a new brush guard. Eventually, and also it doesn't fit the headlights right. It's just got a few little things that bug me, so I'm gonna get a new one. But that's like years in the future, because it's got one. It looks fine from a distance. But uh, yeah, that's that's about all I can think of. I think I covered about everything. Um, I probably missed a whole lot of stuff that I'm gonna remember as soon as I finish this. But yeah, I love it, guys. Um, I don't know if I ever said how much I spent on it, but I know I said to comment. Um, I spent twenty five hundred dollars on this, two thousand five hundred dollars. And to be honest, the Lifting the wheels are probably worth four or five thousand. Like, I think these wheels are probably about twelve hundred, and the lift I know is close to two thousand. So not four or five, but three or four. Um, and I paid twenty five hundred for a good, decent running mo motor. Um, I might have to do some work on it. Right now, it starts up and it drives and it sounds good. Um, it, it doesn't have anything too wrong with it right now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do an oil change and a tune-up on it. See if that helps it a little bit. I think it's going to be a great truck. I mean, it was it was an amazing truck at one point in time. Like, these seats, to get these rear posters, probably like five or $600. It's got new carpet in it. It's got custom paint job. It's got chrome all over it. I mean, this truck was, someone put a lot of money into it. Probably a show truck at one point in time is what my dad said. Um, and I think it's going to be a great truck. It just, just need to get it back on its feet. Just needs a little bit of love. And... So yeah, guys, this is my walk around video of the truck. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos like this. They're not going to be quite as frequent as these two or three. I, don't, I haven't edited any of them yet. I just got the clips recorded. Um, but I'm going to try to make a video every time I do something major cosmetic or every time something major happens with the truck. Um, hey, this camera picks up the decals. You can see where I used to have some decals. And uh, the truck's name used to be Code Red. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Not really. It says Code Red across there. Gotta be on the elders to see. Yeah, Code. Code Red. I'm not gonna keep that name. I haven't thought of a name for it, but I'm gonna name it. Something that needs to be Code Red. That was his name. Um, yeah. It's a big awesome truck, man. Big anyways. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more like this. And uh it's gonna be JR signing out.